Era, the chief operating officer at JBKK Company Limited. For me, Onodera's leadership and innovative strategies have significantly impacted the company's success. Please join me to welcome her to stage, Mrs. Kumiko Onodera. Good evening, distinguished guests. I'm very honored to be here tonight. And on behalf of Dr. Sakura, President of IARO from Japan. My name is Kumiko from JBKK, a life science and drug discovery company in Thailand. Dr. Kampong, you have been contributing to healthcare in Thailand and around the world. And the wonderful achievement you have made in the field of medicine. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate to Dr. Kampong for his special awarded the Gusi Pisa Prize. Over time, the wonderful work of curiosity but by science, we exceed all expectation regarding its usefulness of our plan strategy. What if this works? The power of curiosity expressed in question like what if this works tends to eliminate the boundaries that separate the vastness of what we know and what we don't know. This allows us to access new ideas and new solutions to problems that are not yet recognized as important. So how can we develop curiosity like Dr. Kampong? The answer is very simple. Pay attention to children and listen to their questions. By doing so, we can learn that curiosity is part of being human. It's important for all of us to listen to our inner child within with us. Just like Dr. Kampong. Like Dr. Kampong patiently answering the question of the inner child who is always curious has the potential to create great dreams. Then like Dr. Kampong, we will always be able to pursue our dreams. The Gusi Peace Prize, this amazing accomplishment, is just one step on your journey, Dr. Kampong. Your ability to search for solution to problem and find innovative way to improve the world is the key to success and many more to come. Again, congratulations to Dr. Kampong. I'm very sincere to wish your dreams come true again. Thank you very much.